this is Laura over at Portland Music Company Off-Broadway. So today we're going to be covering truss rod adjustments. The majority of acoustic guitars have what's called a single action truss rod, and that's just one metal rod that goes underneath the fretboard and through the neck. Um, it's adjustable by a bolt that's either on the headstock or directly inside of the instrument. Um, so this is a Taylor guitar, so theirs is actually always going to be right here. Um, and we'll kind of be going over um, how to adjust those as well today. So the reason why you're going to want to make a truss rod adjustment is when you're playing your guitar, you might have noticed some fret buzzing, um, or if it's just a generally uncomfortable guitar to play, is usually a telltale sign that you might have an issue with the truss rod. So, if you pick up your guitar, a uh, good way to check is you can put a finger on this first fret here, and then up the neck. And then you can kind of reach over, and you'll notice there's a little bit of give on the strings. If there isn't, it means that you have what's called a back bow. And if there's too much give, it means that it's curved underneath. So another way you can check that um, is you can just take a long ruler and run it along your frets. And you can do this with the strings on too. That way it remains under tension. And so when you have this straight across, you can see if there's a gap underneath or if this ruler is balanced and you can tip both sides. Um, it's usually a sign that it's back bowed. Um, and if there's too much of a give underneath, it means that it's too far down. Fortunately, these are things that are super easy to fix from home. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to grab a screwdriver. And you're going to remove these three bolts at the headstock. So once all the screws are removed, you can go ahead and take off that plate that's going to be covering it and just set it aside. So the tool that Taylor uses on their guitars is called a quarter inch nut driver. So it's going to look a lot like a screwdriver, but inverted. So basically this piece just fits right over the top of that bolt and it should be pretty snug. If you don't have this type and it looks like there's a hole inside of the guitar, you're going to need something called an Allen wrench, which is this little piece here. For the most part, you can, these will come with your guitar. Um, or you can pick them up from a hardware store or you're in a local music shop as well. So to adjust the truss rod, what you can do um, is you're going to either make a counterclockwise or a clockwise turn from this nut. So if you're going to be tightening it up, that's how you would bring the neck upwards. So if it's back bowed, um, you're going to make about an eighth of a turn to a quarter of a turn. It's a very small adjustment that's necessary. So very much go slow <laughs> when you're first starting out too. Um, and if it's bowed up this way, you're gonna go counterclockwise and give some relief to the neck. So when you're checking your truss rod adjustment, gravity does play into it. So it's important to actually hold the guitar like you would while you're playing. Um, and to check that, you just go first fret here with one hand and then far up the neck. So you can go around like the 13th fret, 15th, it doesn't really matter up there. And then you're just going to check by pushing down on that string. And it should have just enough give from all sides. And it should be equal throughout the whole thing. So typically, you're going to want to adjust your truss rod seasonally. So up in the Pacific Northwest especially, because we go through such strong season changes, uh, if you start to develop any buzzes, it usually just means you're going to need to give it a little bit more relief or a little bit more tension. So get used to kind of making these small adjustments. It's just part of being a good guitar player. <laughs> so super easy to do. Um, and then you guys can always come in here too. If you feel like the truss rod is loose um, or if it's not moving, you can bring it into your shop and have our luthiers take a look at it.